r slash ask reddit what's one thing people were taught in school back in the days that is totally wrong or outdated now if he's mean to you he has a crush on you if you ignore them they'll get bored and stop teasing you i mean it's not always slash entirely wrong a lot of guys probably do a crush on girls they are mean to but should never have been promoted or defended encouraging boys to be abusive and telling girls it's okay is the problem the fucking food pyramid I only learned in the last few years, in my 30s now, that it's a load of shit. Your research paid for by the companies who make slash provide the kinds of food that coincidentally sit at the base of the pyramid. Nobody needs to drink that much milk or consume so much bread. Yeah but while it lasted it was kind of cool to eat pizza, pasta and garlic bread every day in the name of a healthy diet. Even as a kid in the 90s I thought 5 to 11 servings of carbs was absolutely wild. In third grade we were taught square dancing all year. I can still do it, but have never used it in the 50 years since. We did it as part of PE. It does teach some coordination skills I guess and memory skills. Square dancing was promoted by Henry Ford to keep white kids from learning jazz and swing dancing BC they were black music slash dancing and thus evil. Henry Ford was a literal Nazi. So yeah. The different taste zones on the tongue. Aussies doing the nutbush have entered the chat. That your veins look blue because blood is blue before receiving oxygen little dumb child me thought it was the coolest thing when my teacher told us that. I mean it was meant to show oxygen entering and leaving but yeah, a note would have helped a long way. You want just have a calculator in your pocket at all times. Imo if they just said something like math is really important because it teaches you how to reason with logic then so be it. Don't have to trick kids by saying stuff like the calculator in pocket thing. I had a teacher say this in 2013 when we indeed already had calculators in our pockets. Dare. It was a huge failure but we kept pouring money into it. They should have gone with our take on it, may have been more effective. Drugs are really expensive. I was in high school in the late 2010s. My French textbook was old enough that my mom could have used it. They still used francs and talked about email like it was some crazy new invention. The youth slang was laughable. I remember about 20 years before that learning that the French had an early version of the internet. You had to buy a special device and it had things like train schedules and weather. All text of course. At least my teacher told us that those are regions where certain taste buds have higher concentration slash numbers, as we clearly can taste different things at the same part of the tongue. Pluto has been to planet. I've taught my kids to recite the planets as, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune and, sometimes Pluto. Some of our maps still had two Germanys. In 2001. In fucking Germany. And GT, in fucking Germany. I'm from Russia. And we were taught to always listen to those who are older, not to stand out from the crowd and not to take the initiative. Trying to be like everyone else. It's horrible and destructive to life. The Japanese say, hammer down the nail that sticks out. Ah uh, yeah, that explains a lot. That college was the only path to a happy life. Yup, and, study what makes you happy, just having a degree in any subject will get you a lifelong job because they'll respect your thirst for knowledge. I get free narcotics from strangers on the street corners and in Halloween candy. You can now make more money at a McDonald's than working in a school. Whether that's true depends on many factors, but there are places that is true. To only use their right hand for writing. If you need to go to the restroom, you'll just have to hold it until class is over. I've read at least a couple of stories right here on Reddit from folks who suffered urinary tract infections and even kidney damage because of that BS. My former boss sort of razzed me at work when we were in an informal team meeting and I asked if I could go to the bathroom. I was literally about to shit myself otherwise. Schools shouldn't condition kids for this. Columbus discovered America while trying to prove the world was round. He actually landed in the Bahamas. There were already people there, he didn't discover shit. Also everyone already knew the world was round. Pyramid Scheme Christopher Columbus discovered the Americas. He wasn't even the first European to visit the Americas. Glass is a liquid. You can tell by looking at glass from old buildings, 300 plus years, and see how they are thicker at the bottom of the pane than the top. Yet it's fully BS, the windows were designed that way. In kindergarten, I was told not to accept temporary tattoos from strangers because they might have acid on them. A never in my life have I seen some random person handing out temporary tattoos to kids on the street. B never in my life have I seen some random person handing out drugs to kids on the street. 
Yup, turns out that putting a wider bit at the bottom makes it more stable. What a shock. Elementary school in the 80s. I distinctly remember being taught that the US warned Japanese citizens before the bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki and that almost no one died. The first part is accurate. They didn't name the cities but leaflets were absolutely dropped warning citizens to flee cities. George Washington never cut down no cherry tree. That you needed 8 pieces of bread and 4 glasses of milk every single day in order to be healthy. The hold that the agricultural industry had on early childhood education in the US is actually cartoonishly insane. I've written a check less than 20 times and it's been a few years. Met. I write one every month to my ho just to be a pain in the ass lol. I know they desperately want us to use the online portal whatnot, but they drag their feet on owner requests, I drag mine. That hard work always pays off. The appendix has no purpose. In the 70s it was thought that brain cells never regenerated and that was taught in the school biology. We know no brain cells are capable of regeneration like other cells. I went to Catholic school growing up in New Jersey, late 90s so not super long ago, and the nuns told all the girls that if they went swimming in a pool at the same time as boys, they would get pregnant because the sperm would swim through the water. The nuns as teachers thing was already being phased out at this time, so all the regular teachers would reassure everyone this was total BS. Don't drink while or immediately either side of running, you'll get the stitch, aka cramps. Leading to a lot of dehydrated kids on cross country day. That Dr. King was a peaceful protester and Malcolm X was violent. It was definitely more nuanced than that for both of them. Marijuana will turn you into a depraved drug addict who lives on the streets and commits violent crimes to get high and it can happen after using it just one time. Also, Pluto is a planet. I'm a boomer and I've never once heard anything like this. The worst I've heard was that it was a gateway drug. Taste zones on the tongue. The food pyramid. The different learning styles, auditory, kinesthetic, visual. Imma be honest, I can't really remember shit that I hear anymore. I have to read it or it gets all fuckered in my brain meat. I usually accidentally hyperfixate on speech impediments, mispronunciations, incorrect word usage, and verbal typos like when somebody pronounces then instead of then or pin instead of pen. Apparently, cursive. That Europeans colonizing the Americas was a mostly peaceful process of settling empty land. I don't see color, thanks to all my well-meaning progressive teachers who conditioned this philosophy into me in my formative years only to be told in adulthood by well-meaning progressive teachers that this philosophy is in fact racist and I absolutely must see color in order to not be racist. I wonder if kids these days will have the rug pulled out from underneath their social conscience by a different generation of well-meaning progressives? Double spacing. Jenks and boomers didn't understand why you needed to do that for typewriters, what they learn on, and pass that knowledge on to us that didn't apply to word processors. Oh, yikes lol. Wanna go swimming at the sperm pool, I mean public pool. That's not double spacing. That's two spaces after a period. Double spacing is the distance between two lines on the page so editors, or your teacher, has room to mark up your writing. If you look at this image, the top is single spaced, and the bottom is double spaced. Link. Left brain slash right brain personality. My sixth grade art teacher swore by this. It was her entire approach to art. She basically said that the key to being a good artist is to learn how to work within your right hemisphere as much as possible. If you are completely within your right hemisphere, your art will be perfect. If your art has a mistake, it is because you were using your left hemisphere too much. I have an art degree now and that is such horse shit lol. I'll hey guys, it's Reddit Glitch. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. Um, I just wanted to ask you guys to hit the subscribe button because according to my statistics, 98.8% of my viewers are not subscribed, which I think you should subscribe because it's free and uh, we're going to have a lot more bangers in the future. So subscribe again. Thanks for watching. Bye.